Writing division stories is going to be our focus today for 7.5. And this is good because you get to be a little bit creative and come up with your own stuff, which I think is pretty fun when we're doing division stories. Now there's a couple different ways to understand division, but for the sake of simplicity, I've been keeping it with the formula of total number as the first number, second number is your amount of groups, and finally that last number is the amount in each group. So total number divided by your amount of groups equals your amount in each group. So let's start that with number one, 10 divided by two. So my 10 is gonna be my total number of groups, so I know my biggest number in this whole problem can be 10, no bigger than 10. So, and then I have how many groups? Two groups. And then this unknown number is going to be my number in each group. So I always tell the students to pick an object to start first. Doesn't matter to me, it could be pigs, it could be crayons, it can be books, it can be pens. Uh, for this one, let's go with pens, okay? So pick a person to start with, let's say Mr. Lou, everybody's favorite principal in the world. Mr. Lou has 10 pens. And then you have to think of a realistic thing that Mr. Lou could put pens into. Let's say a cup. Mr. Lou has 10 pens. He puts them in two cups. How many in each cup? So that's an easy one. You have a person, um, 10 total pens, that's my biggest number. He has two cups to put them in, the amount of groups, and then how many in each group? The answer that went to this one would be five pens in each group. Let's do another one. 21 divided by three. 21 is gonna be our total number of items. Three is gonna be our number of groups, and this unknown number is going to be our number in each group. Now, Brooke loves her animals, so I'm gonna include her on these. Brooke has... 21 cows. She puts them evenly in three barns. Keep in mind, barns is a realistic place to put cows. You wouldn't say you would put cows in Tupperware containers. Well, I guess not until after they're cooked. But it needs to be somewhere realistic that it would be. So barns, it could be stalls, it could be anything like that. But make it realistic. Brooke has 21 cows. She puts them evenly in three barns. How many in each barn? So I have my total number, amount of groups, and then how many in each. So how many in each? That's going to be seven cows in each barn. Keep that in mind. Total number, amount of groups, how many in each.